Thank you so much. Thank you for coming here. And I'm happy to see a lot of known faces from Cobring. Uh, it has been a pleasure to work with Cobring during those three years. Um, I will not spend a lot of time in explaining myself. You have heard so much information today. So what I will do, I will give very brief information of one of our projects that the European House has been implemented in Romania. And then I will show you 15 minutes of a documentary which was taken by the Danish television five years after that we have closed a lot of institutions, has made the institutionalization and moved the most severe children out of their organizations. It's a film that can show it matters. So this introduction will be much more about just human beings and not that much about the figures and the economy behind. Uh, the information of our organization, you can read yourself here, it is in Russian. So, the, the whole um, project was a combination of support from uh, Red Cross and uh, Danish organizations supported financially by the EU. It was only a short-term project and within two years you cannot manage much but still we manage a lot and partly because we have so many positive authorities that supported the whole process, staff as well and as many of the children didn't have any family so there was that support from that side. But we managed and we still are in very close contact with a lot of those children we have moved out of the institution. So this was the basic was when we saw those terrible films on the television just after the collapse of um, the country. The, and um, in fact those films which were sent all over the world uh, was taken with secret camera to a uh, back and um, the whole world was shocked and a lot of funds rushed to the country and uh, we were a part of the first development at, uh, in Romania. The goals was as described here to introduce, develop and test an economic, affordable, deinstitutionalized and community-based model. It's exactly the same what we have been talking about today, that it should be community-based and it should be affordable. And then to assist and re-examine all the institutionalized children. And to prepare a system for this um, examination. And then at the same time to develop a modern occupational training system because those people who we have moved out have to have education, they have to learn to read and write and they have to have professional skills so that one day could have an income. Um, the project evaluation showed that it matters. Those children who previously were seen as incapable and unless useless has no and now rapidly developed physical, mental and social and everybody was agreeing on this. And at this all of you might have in your mind, but the movie I will show you shows exactly these results. Um, and by the way, I was thinking yesterday when we were visiting uh, institution number three and I asked one of the residents who was moved to a little bit more independent living um, area within the institution still and I asked him if he find he has a better living condition and he said yes and I said why? 
Because we do not have that much staff any longer, we decide ourselves. Here we have some of the figures, which uh, I know there's a lot of sources here, so they will always ask about figures and um, and even the EC and the all uh, other kind of who provide funding, they all love figures. So. <coughs> As you see here, 158 children were moved out, and we closed two institutions. And three houses and flats, two flats were established. And we have to establish NGOs that could manage those small houses. Because it shouldn't be state institutions, it should be independent NGO institutions. Then we produced the 35,000 training events. It's a lot, but you have to think that we managed to get most of our counties in Denmark involved. It means that those civil servants in all those councils, councils, they got it as their in-service training to be trainers in Romania, to train staff there. We managed to support in normal vocational education and uh, we managed to establish small enterprises. Uh, normally such a huge project is described as uh, this traditional way of making project description, but the author and the one in charge of all this uh, we uh, integration. His name is Henrik Halpo. He is now a very active part in our organization. Uh, he decided to write a book because he finds that very often projects and reports produce human beings and they go from one column to another column. And we are talking about human beings and if we forgot that they are human beings, then it would be this clinical, administrative, inhuman, humanistic waste just around the corner. So you have really to think about that we have today talked a lot, or heard a lot about how you're going to make the guidelines and all this. Think about not only to focus on how to implement all those guidelines. There are human beings behind. And, as I said, some years later, uh, the Danish television went there uh, to show how it works with all those uh, people we have moved out. It was children and now they were young people. Today they are in the 30s and we have contact with many of them still. And we have also results after these 25 years. And uh, this is in Danish, but in fact I do not need to tell so many words because the film shows. We have, we have just been in um, Romania, now it's 25 years ago. And we worked at that time with 3,000 disabled and 15 special schools and institutions. And it could only be done, of course, with all the Danish councils and the and the staff as well. In fact, in the movie, the girl who was singing, she said, I cannot see that the staff has changed in the institutions. And I was thinking when I saw all the figures that those many thousands of uh, staff training hours they were giving, that it is very difficult to change the mindset of people. Uh, which has been raised in a society that has one direction and then changes it to a totally other direction. It takes time. But those people, they, even they are working, then, um, you know, Romania is today very poor, so they don't have the opportunity to find those jobs that could really give them the full income. So they have, uh, they have to have a part of the pension as well. 
And um, now we are in a situation that they have this post-traumatic um, illness. And um, when they were visiting us in the European house one afternoon when I saw this movie, and they were standing behind me and saw themselves from this time. And I said to him, like, how is it? How are they? What do you like it? And they said, we are using this film to go through the whole life, and we have to do that many, many times because it is they, it's their hurt, and it's not something that you change overnight. So we are trying again to find uh, funding and try to establish what we call social uh, economic enterprises, uh, which is a part of the Danish system as well today. It is private companies that produce something for income, but the income is not for profit, it's for to, to go into the institution again. So this is how we are today and where they're trying to help those people even after these 25 years. But it matters, as you saw. Thank you for listening. <laughs>